We are here with David Parrish, President of World Missions and Evangelism, also known as WME, located in Draftonville on Highway 68 East. And they are our August Nonprofit Spotlight, brought to you by CFSB. And I'm going to turn it over to David. All right, well, thank you so much, and we appreciate being the uh, August Spotlight. Uh, World Missions and Evangelism, uh, or WME, as we uh, go by, uh, is a missions organization, a, a Christian missionary sending organization. Uh, we've been around since 1988, and we're from right here in Marshall County. Uh, actually, uh, WME uh, started as a ministry originally of Christian Fellowship Church. I was on staff at Christian Fellowship uh, 30 years ago, 31 years ago, and uh, we started this as a ministry for missionaries. We had some missionaries who were focused in Latin America and uh, we, uh, who needed a mission agency. And so we started at the uh, latter part of, uh, as, as a matter of fact, I believe it was August. Uh, we were incorporated in August of 1988, so it's actually 31 years ago right now. And uh, WME uh, uh, has existed ever since then. For the first uh, uh, six years or so of WME's uh, existence, we primarily just served as a ministry of helps to a couple of missionaries who were working in Honduras. Then we started uh, beginning sending out mission trips. We started doing leadership training, pastoral training uh, through the latter 90s. And then beginning in the year 2000, we started training church planters. And since the year 2000, we have trained church planters and seen churches and pre-church groups planted in a whole lot of countries, in India, Indonesia, uh, South Africa, Swaziland, Romania. That was between 2000 and 2008. And then since 2008, our focus has primarily been the Western Hemisphere, and we've seen groups and churches planted in Honduras, Guatemala, uh, Nicaragua, Argentina, and uh, Bolivia, and Ecuador. Uh, and we've done additional trainings in Mexico, El Salvador, uh, Puerto Rico, Barbados, and we've trained people from Brazil and Chile that have come over into Argentina for training. And, and so we've been reaching out and doing church planting, and we're involved in a strategy called disciple-making movements. And that just means we're teaching people how to do what Jesus said to do in the Bible. He said, go and make disciples. And so we're teaching people how to meet people, how to minister to their needs, how to show them the love of God in practical ways, uh, meeting physical needs that they may have. We've drilled water wells in Latin America. We've uh, given assistance with education and a, a lot of different things that we've done, uh, medical help to, to minister to people's needs. And through that, open the door to finding people that want to know about, more about Jesus Christ and uh, starting Bible studies in their homes. Uh, in a lot of places where we've worked in uh, Latin America, we've, had a, uh, we've dealt with a lot of village areas where there's not very much education. A lot of people can't read. And so we, we took this little device right here. This is called a mega voice device. And we, uh, uh, our team wrote, designed, recorded, and downloaded on this device. Uh, a year's worth of what we call discovery Bible studies that helps people that know nothing about God learn the Word of God and learn who Jesus is and come to faith in Christ. And through this little technique and through this, uh, through the team that developed in Honduras and has developed throughout Latin America, we've seen over 13,000 discovery Bible studies, and many of them, thousands and thousands of them have become churches, uh, be birthed. We've seen thousands and thousands of people come to Christ uh, over these last 11 years. That part of the story started 11 years ago in 2008. And so in the last 11 years, and actually most of it within the last five years, we've seen uh, well over 40,000 people come to Jesus Christ and, and accept Christ as their Savior and be baptized and are following Jesus today. And uh, so that's what WME is. We're a mission-sending organization. We have missionaries on every continent, actually, but our primary project is this project in Latin America called the INSTAR Project. INSTAR in Spanish means to urge or be urgent. And the most urgent thing we know of is to get the gospel of Jesus Christ to people. 
And so um, we just uh, love this opportunity. Appreciate the opportunity to just tell you about this. And uh, if you want to learn more about this, by the way, we're training people in North America. We are reaching out to Native American tribes in North America. We're reaching out uh, to uh, uh, groups in the Caribbean. And if you would like to know more about this or be a part of this in some way, we would love to share more with you. You can learn all about it at our website, which is worldmissionsevangelism.com, worldmissionsevangelism.com. And on worldmissionsevangelism.com, you can sign up to be a part of a free dinner. We're going to have a free dinner in Paducah at the Carson Center on October 24th, where you can learn a lot more about it. It won't just be me there. All of our team will be there. Our missionaries from around the world, we're going to have missionaries from all over these uh, Central and South America. We're going to have people that are focused on Native Americans, focused on the Caribbean, focused on South America, focused on tribes. Uh, all of the leadership uh, is going to be there, and it's going to be just an opportunity to hear some great testimonies about what God's doing and to enjoy a great meal. So I just want to invite you to that, and I would encourage you to visit our website, worldmissionsevangelism.com, and sign up for that. But uh, that's who we are. We're based right here in Marshall County. We've been here from the beginning, and uh, we're, we're seeing that, that God is helping us to touch the world from right here in Marshall County.